Hi. So, I decided for one, oh, I should back up. For one of, um, I love this pillow, by the way. For one of the vlogs, I should do like facts about me, I guess. So, sad I had to write some things down because I just, I'm gonna keep mumbling on if I don't. My composition notebook, gotta love it. So let's say some fun facts. Um, I'm originally from Rochester, New York. I was born on March 14th, I'm a true Pisces. Pisces all the way. My name was supposed to be Chloe. I don't know why they didn't name me Chloe, but my name was supposed to be Chloe. My mom really wanted to name me Chloe. I have an older brother who is three years older than me. He lives in Las Vegas. All to ya, bro. All to ya. Yeah, I, if anybody's been to Vegas before, you know, well, I have a huge extended family. Like every time I go home, I swear there's a new baby in my family, but I love it. I love my family so much. I love seeing them. Both of my parents still live in Rochester. I love going to Rochester. I appreciate it so much more now. And they own a real estate company and they work together, which is like, they've been married for what? They've been married for 27 years? I should probably know that. I think 27 years, my brother's 26. Yeah. Um, another cool fact about me, I actually danced competitively for 14 years before I started my career. Um, I was in the dance studio, finished, I would get out of school, my mom picked me up actually from school because my dance solo practice would be like at 2.30, 2.45. Um, I'd be in the dance studio every day after school five hours, four or five hours. And the weekends, you go to dance competitions. I actually have like a bunch of trophies at home. Uh, it's so funny actually, that's actually how I got into my career. I would always just, I was always so tall, kept growing, kept growing. And all the girls kind of like stayed the same and I was like, why am I standing out? I hated being tall when I was younger, hated it. They're like, oh, the tall blonde girl in the back, she should try modeling. I had braces on at the time, with like fake tanning, my eyebrows were tiny. I stuffed my bra, tried to have bigger boobs. Like I was sophomore in high school at that time. And I heard that and I'm like, meh, well, let's just give it a go. So I took some like amateur shots up in Rochester or whatever. Came down to New York and brought my amateur shots to open calls to agencies, which I mean, I guess one agency saw potential in me. Sorry, my phone's dying, stand by. And they're like, lose the braces, leave the braces off, let your eyebrows naturally grow out, chill out on the tanning, be just yourself. I'm like, okay, this is cool. And I signed a contract with them and then it just like all went from there. Um, I graduated high school early actually to start my career. <laughs> Crazy. Never went to college, but I'm very educated. Don't want you to get the wrong impression. Got very busy with work at a very young age. So, took that on, full throttle. I've been living in New York City by myself on my own since I was 17. So, yeah, I guess you can say I grew up pretty quickly. Even though I graduated from high school so early, a lot of people seem to like, because I'm 23, people don't seem to like have many friends from high school. I actually have a really good group of friends. I still talk to almost every single day on a daily basis from high school, so I feel like really blessed to have that because that's like a kind of a rare thing to hear. Like my best friend, we've been best friends since second grades and we're still, we talk like sisters every day. So I have a few best friends like that actually. Another fun fact actually, I downhill race competitively for my whole entire life. So some nights I'd be after school, I'd be dancing. And then the next night I had to go train at the mountain. And then on the weekends I would have either dance competitions or I'd have races, so um, I'm pretty good skier, to say the least. Had some injuries there, but I'll get to my injuries <laughs> in another vlog. Ooh. Oh, another fact, I'm an astrology freak. I love astrology, everything about it. Um, I love writing. And I've lately been getting into reading books. I never, you never saw me with a book in my hat before, trust me, like ever. But I'm almost done with this book. It's Mean Streak by Sandra, Sandra Brown. Dude, I found this book like 
at my boyfriend's building and there was just like books downstairs and no one wanted anymore. I'm like, oh, I just picked up a bunch of books and I decided to start reading one. This book is so good. It keeps you like on the edge of your seat. You want to keep reading it. I almost want to make it a movie if I ever could. I would. So good. I love suspenseful books because it keeps you reading. So good book. So you guys know. Yeah, I've been living in New York for about seven years. I've been living, well, eight years kind of because I would like live in model apartments before, meaning like you, you stay with a bunch of models. Fortunately, I was able to make, I was able to make up, I, I paid for myself since I was 17. I got my own apartment at 18 and then I moved from that apartment. It was a five story walk up in Manhattan in like the east side. One day I woke up and there was a cockroach in my bed and I was like, okay, time to move. Just not feeling it. And then I moved to my other apartment in Soho and I was there for five years. Um, oh my God, in that apartment. Living in New York is crazy. I at one point had mice in that apartment and trust me, I clean. I don't know how they got in there. It was a, like a new apartment, a great building. So the area must have been the area I was in. It was terrifying, terrifying. Everything you could think of to have an apartment in New York or in general, I'm the gal. I've dealt with it all. Anyways, got rid of those, thank God. I was freaking out. Anyways, I was living in that apartment for five years uh, and I was just kind of over, I mean, I'm not over New York, I love New York, but I was over just like the hustle and bustle constantly, me walking out my door and just being like 10,000 people when I walk outside my door and like now I'm able to walk my dog and um, it was just really overwhelming. So I terminated my lease at that apartment in Soho and I actually got a beautiful apartment in Williamsburg on the water in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And I look over the city, it's gorgeous. I'm actually watching right now. So it's just like, let me show you guys. It's really beautiful. I'll give you an apartment tour one day also, but like, Look, that's what I wake up to every day. So, yeah, it's a lot more relaxing here and I'm a lot more happy here. And can't forget. And yeah, this is probably a really long vlog. Right? Right? Okay, bye. Babe, make a sound 2 a.m. love, gotta keep it down Don't wait around for a signal now Give me some verb, I ain't talking down You wanna ride in the six You wanna dine in the six But when I lean for the kiss You said I'll probably send you some pics And I'm like, hell nah